Ready? Ready. All right. <laughs> this is Jackie with In the Key of Change, and I'm here with neighbors at CMJ Music Marathon in New York City. Describe your sound for the many new listeners out there this week. We are uh, an alternative rock band uh, with a lot of weird influences and uh, kind of all over the map yeah. below that umbrella, I would say. Yeah, definitely raw energy is where we stem ourselves from. This is energetic rock. Give me some examples of those really weird influences you claim. Oh, weird ones. Um, our, our bass player is like obsessed with classical music. Um, so we, we, we were always rocking that in the van. We listen to a lot of jazz. Um, but, you know, some of our favorite bands are Mute Math, RX Bandits, like Incubus. Yeah. Uh, those are some of the bands we, like, agree upon. Yeah, we love bands that just, like, push the envelope and kind of make their own path. Which I hear you also do pretty well. <laughs> that's, that's, uh, that's, on the, that's on the list of things. <laughs> okay, good. So what's one song off of 21 Rooms? that fans, new fans, old fans, absolutely have to listen to? Uh, I would say the title track of the album, 21 Rooms. Um, it's kind of a darker song, but I feel like it really uh, shows how much we've grown over the years. And um, it's my favorite song, so I'm, I'm shouting that one out. <laughs> yeah, Shout that one out over the uh, music in the background as well. Um, some people say that music is a tool to communicate. Try not to nod along like I'm, I'm oh, coming sorry, to it too. No, no, no. Sorry. <laughs> We're musicians, you know. I know, it's musicians. natural, right? Uh, but if music is a tool to communicate, what's your band's message? Uh, honesty. I think uh, we make the music that we love, and that's kind of where we're being ourselves. I think that's like the best thing to do as a musician is kind of like facilitate your feelings and like kind of. Be a canvas for, you know, your mind, you know, stuff like that. Fair enough. So what are some benefits of being here at CMJ? Definitely just the exposure. Um, there's, like, so many bands here. There's obviously industry all over the place here. Um, so we just want to take advantage of the, the uh, buzz that we've been creating and just uh, really capitalize on that. And what makes for a good showcase performance? Uh, like you said before, a lot of energy. And um, there's just so many bands, so we just want to really just go all out and um, have a lot of sweat and um, make people show that we're like, we're, we're not joking around. It's a, it's a good way to make a good, good impression, just sweat on everybody, well, you're all good. That's it. Make sure you're having fun too. I think that's, that really, really stands out to people, it's just like, you love what you do and you're there because you want to be there and just kind of feeling good. I think that's... Yeah, just make, make sure people don't forget you. Yeah, make sure people feel something. You know? I think I've heard another way that you have uh, l made a lasting impression is with your video. Yeah. Tell us a little bit more about that. Uh, we made a music video for the song Hold Up Girl. It's a single off our, uh, our record. And um, Ian actually came up with the idea to do uh, an Instagram music video. So just kind of um, take advantage of all the social media out there and... Um, we basically made a map on Instagram. We created a bunch of fake accounts and found a way to weave a bunch of videos that we created ourselves into a connected uh, music video. And someone scrolling through their phone like they would normally do on Instagram, but everything kind of syncs up with the song, and it's like a, you know popular clips that a lot of like the average person would post. So you know their their lunch or posting you know a funny clip of their friend. And uh, kind of, that was our idea, just kind of be, do it ourselves, very DIY, and we pulled it off. A lot of trial and error, but, and a lot of planning, but we pulled it off. It took two months, <laughs> two months of just constant, yeah. like, all-nighters, just figuring yeah. it out. It was, like, it was really intense. It really was. Yeah. Well, that's a very creative use of social media. I, I will give you that. Uh, what is your opinion on bands that use crowdsourcing, like Indiegogo and Kickstarter? Um, we've actually done that before. We, we, we raised uh, some money to buy a van, uh, I think, three, three years ago. Yeah. Um, I'm all for it. I just think there's certain things that qualify for it, um, as long as you're not taking advantage of your fans. Um, and I also feel like you shouldn't do it more than once. That's my personal opinion. Yeah. Like, you do it, and 
if, it, if you have a good reason, you could do it. Exactly. And um, as long as you're it. giving away the good packages that's too, it, yeah. you know, not you know taking twenty bucks for a hug, you know, <laughs> like at least give people your music, you know. So. And what were some of the some of the the gifts or bonuses? It's like handwritten stuff. Like I sat there for hours after that, and like writing stuff out. Uh, you know, our records, some posters, T-shirts, like anything you can imagine. <laughs> so you made it worth it. That's good. That's good. Uh, the biggest package um, was uh, free tickets for life for one of our to, to yeah. our show. So we actually had two people who two bought people, that yeah. package. So whenever they want to come to a show, we get an email list. and then yeah. they're on their list. So. Nice. That's a really good perk. Yeah. Very, you, you, do, you guys do good work when it comes to working that social media angle. Very nice. So what's up next for neighbors after CMJ? Uh, just touring, getting in front of as, ma as many people as possible. I think that's the most important thing that represents our band. And uh, you have to check us out live. Like You can listen to us on record. and we, we recorded the record live, but it's a completely different experience. The energy is like 10 times, you know, like hands down. So come get sweaty with neighbors. Uh, this is Jackie with In the Key of Change. <laughs>